This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice. Let's be glad in it. Hello, everybody. My name is Jeff. So I want to talk to you about two, two systems of day counting on the carnivore journey. One is my total time on the carnivore journey. I think today is day 134. In 134 days, I have been absolutely faithful to the carnivore experience. I have not cheated, not one time. Have I put anything, not even a crumb of anything in my mouth that was not meat or an animal product? 95% of, 98% of what I've eaten in these 134 days 134 days is beef, steak, hamburger meat. I've eaten just a little bit of pork and uh, I've eaten some cheese, which I don't eat much cheese, but it's been primarily beef. I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat in Thanksgiving. I started September the 11th. I didn't cheat during Thanksgiving holiday. I didn't cheat during the Christmas holiday. I have not put anything in my mouth anything. I have been 100% all the way in, faithful to this plan. 30 days ago, I started a 30-day challenge to myself to, to uh, jumpstart my weight because I am not wasn't losing the weight like I thought I would, and to uh, seek out the system that works best for me. Because I haven't been overall happy. I mean, when I hear people say they'd lost 100 pounds in five months, one guy said he lost 150 pounds in five months. Yesterday, Felicia and I were in a Sunny's barbecue in Pensacola, Florida, and the uh, young lady that uh, served us or waited, for, waited on us at the table, I don't even know what the right word is anymore. Serve, wait. She's the one who brought the food. <laughs> anyway, I was ordering carnivore, and I was explaining to her that I wouldn't be eating my sides. I was going to give Felicia my sides, and, and I was talking to her about the menu and what I wanted to order, and she totally got it because she has been on the carnivore diet. She's a young lady, and she had been on the carnivore diet since October. Now, I didn't, I didn't think to ask her if she cheated any. Did she cheat around the holidays? But she said that she had lost 35 pounds since October. And boy, I bragged on her and, and congratulated her and made a really big deal out of that. And, uh, but inside, I was going, my lands, what's wrong with me? I've been on this thing since uh, September. September the 11th was day one. And as of today, as far as I know, I've lost about 21 pounds. So that's the first block of days. The second block of days is 30 days ago, I started a challenge to myself. And I've just explained that. I won't, I won't explain it again, but a challenge to myself. And during those 30 days, I've, I've experimented. I've tried just a little, a little bit of everything. And uh, I still don't know. I still don't know that I have nailed it down to just one system. I do really like the one meal a day uh, system, and I uh, typically eat somewhere between two and three o'clock, or from two to three o'clock in the afternoon. And that, if I if I eat a, a good amount of beef, that holds me. That holds me. And then I don't eat again until two or three o'clock the next afternoon. I like that system. The other system that I that I tried that I liked was the system that I uh, I got from the uh, young man on the YouTube channel, the Carnivore Couple, and he's a lot younger than me. I think he said he was 33. I'm 63, and uh, he'd lost he'd lost 100 pounds. He said that he eats two meals a day. His first meal is six scrambled eggs. I love eggs. Scrambled, fried, boiled, I love eggs, but six scrambled eggs. And then his second meal of the day was one pound of beef, a steak or hamburger. 
And I said, well, I like that plan. So I did it. I did that for about a week, but I didn't really stick to one thing long enough to really say, hey, this is what works. And so I, uh, I'm, I'm still, I'm losing a little bit of weight. And uh, today being the 31st day, the day after day 30, I did weigh in this morning. That was my final weigh-in for the 30-day challenge. And my weigh-in this morning was my lightest weight yet. And it was uh, 267.2. My starting weight on day one of the 30-day challenge was 277.4. Today is 267.2. That's 10.2 pounds. Now, I'm still extremely skeptical about that weight. And, and what did I lose? Did I lose, I mean, did I lose 10 pounds of fat? Did I, did I lose eight pounds of fat, five pounds of fat, and five pounds of water? What, what did I lose? I, I really don't know. But uh, the scales say 10.2 pounds lost in these 30 days, and I'll take that. Yes. Now, here's the deal. And I want to give you a little bit of life uh, advice. You're going to have very few cheerleaders in life. And uh, thank God for the ones who, who, who do cheer you on, even when things are not going well. But I've learned in life that when you're trying something new, you're changing your life. You're going to start going to the gym. You're going to start dieting. I'm finally going to start reading my Bible. I mean, when you're really making a drastic change to your lifestyle, I would say to you, don't tell anybody. At least 30 days in, don't tell somebody, well, I'm going to the gym now on day one because they're going to watch you. They're watching you. And, they're, and, and most of them are not watching you so they can cheer you on. They're watching you so they can criticize you. Uh, he's not going. So I would say, if you're going to try something like the carnivore journey, don't tell a lot of people. Don't start a YouTube channel. Can I tell you the honest truth? I really wished I had never put a carnivore journey video on this YouTube channel. Why? Because my, my experience has been, my weight loss experience has been much slower than everything else I hear from everybody else that's on YouTube. And I, I just, I feel like all, all these eyes are on me and they're, and they're watching me and they're wondering, you know, well, what's wrong with you? Maybe not, maybe not. And then, and then, honestly, when you lose weight, really, I've lost 21, 22 pounds in 134 days. When you lose weight really slow, people don't notice it because you've lost it so slow that they, when you lose weight fast, they go, wow, look at you. When you lose it slow, they, they don't really they don't really take note and I'm not looking for people to take notice I'm not looking for people to brag on me I just you know here's the here's the crazy thing and the people who know me who really know me would say amen to what I'm about to say here's the really crazy thing about me and YouTube I'm the most private guy I I, I am the most private guy but there's something about getting in front of a camera and shooting a video. And I, I, I've, I've, I've liked doing this kind of stuff as long as we had ways to hook uh, video cameras up to computers and do editing. All the way back, Sony Vegas. Some of you will remember that. Um, so I've always liked doing this. And I, I started this, these videos on this YouTube channel. This channel was here a long time before I was on the carnivore diet. Uh, and it'll still be here when I'm not doing carnivore videos. But uh, the reason that I, 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 I brought it to YouTube was to just kind of hold my feet to the fire to strangers, to people I don't know. And so anyway, so that's where I'm at. Now, uh, I, I'm not going to be giving updates on my carnivore experience like I have in the past. 
going forward. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do a video a week or one video a month or I, or I may never do another video. I just know that I'm, I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on going. I'm, I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on working at it. I'm going to keep on believing. And I'm going to keep on getting results, even if they're just a little bit at the time. All right? So let me encourage you. Find yourself a dream. Go work for your dream. Live for your dream. Achieve your dream. Okay? Bye.